Camp Randall Stadium's been around for 105 years, well known for its seismic activity and 75,000 plus. Welcome to Fox College Football, sponsored by Geico. First play of the ball game, Braylon Allen, that tailback is met after a gain of two. We welcome those of you who just joined us from Alabama, Texas. A close win for the Crimson Tide and competing styles here on the opening drive with a very talented tailback, Braylon Allen. Loss of one on the first down carry, and Allen is swarmed again. He goes down behind the line one more time. Brennan Jackson, the talented end, got him. Yeah, he does a phenomenal job of setting the edge right here. This is where it starts. You have to set that edge first, and then look at the fast flow. Look at Dayon Henley and the rest of the Cougs. This is heavyweight versus middleweight. Third down and 12 for Graham Mertz. He goes down the sideline with a long ball. Safety help is coming, and it is incomplete. There it is. Quick toss on a screen. Renard Bell reaches across in stride and breaks free. Across midfield, he led him on the screen, and Bell takes it into Wisconsin territory. You nail it. That is the whole key. Watch the little bubble screen here. And he leads him like a trackster, getting him started out of the blocks. Doesn't put it on his back shoulder, doesn't stop his momentum, and because of that, it's like rounding a 200 meter. Ches Malusi is the tailback, and he is absolutely engulfed by David Gusta. My goodness. Isaac Garendo checks in as the tailback as Wisconsin goes with Mertz rolling out. He drops it off for Garendo, who's cut down by Shaw Smith Wade. Allen back in, looking for a second gap, and he is taken down short of the 30 yard line by Quinn Roth, and it's third down. 11th play of the drive. Mertz scanning. He's rolling out on a third down and five, and he finally has to whistle it out of bounds because of the approaching Ron Stone Jr. This is great defense. I mean, this is just straight man to man. Look at it. Everybody's face masks. Those DBs are staring at the receiver. There's nowhere to go. Cover the fade route, cover the slant and the stick route. There's the slant backside. Braylon Allen on the fastest Cougar linebacker. He's sticky too. Again on the ground, again to the left, and that's not a whole lot. Third down and three coming up. So Wisconsin keeps it late first quarter. Braylon Allen has had nowhere to go. Marsh came up to help stop him. Jordan Lee, the safety, was there as well. First down, play action. Mertz under pressure. It was Stone in there first, and Mejia closes the deal. Loss of four. Ooh, and this guy is all effort, man. Ron Stone, they held him back a week ago. He was a bit beat up, but watch him split this protection here. That's a, that's a play action pass I'm talking about. Here you go. Here's your shot. But the engine of these two guys, Jackson number 80, Stone number 10, they are relentless. He was all league a season ago in the Pac-12. His papa played a bunch of years in the NFL on the O-line. and He knows how to get after the quarterback. Chris Jackson comes to play on the near side, the boundary side, on a second down handoff. Well, Lucy runs right into Dayon Henley, who's been everywhere. Gosh, he gets to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Third and two. Malusi has it stopped. He is doused in the backfield by Andrew Edson. Now just look at this chaos guard to guard here. Watch this mess that Wazoo creates. You got a left guard that's falling all over himself. There's nowhere to go. You got more penetration from these edge players. That time Edson into the backfield. That man Henley has set the tone in the Badgers. Well, they're going to go for it on fourth and three. It's a roll for Mertz. Garendo in front of him. He threw it behind him, and it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Washington State is amped. Jalen Jenkins, the tailback, has checked in to split out wide. On a first down for Ward, the transfer. That's a bullet down the middle for Donovan Ali in a first down Cougars. Ward to throw with a lob down the sideline on target for the tight end Revere. They call him the Viking and his ship has come in. It's 
Give it to him again. And he's in. Nakia Watson, the former Badger, has the opening touchdown, and he is hearing it and maybe giving it back to his former teammates. Well, one of his buddies is the Grizzly Bear nose tackle right in the middle, and if you're going to run between the guards, you got to handle Keanu Benton, and that's exactly what Gomnis does. Even better, Hillborn, the left guard next to him, getting to the second level. And I love that response. A little bit of tempo from the Cougs. Right, get your quarterback going, get your offense going. It's first and 25 for Wisconsin and Graham Mertz. He goes to the sideline and Allen has it batted away. Shaw Smith Wade recovers and it's second down. Washington State gets it first out of halftime. Renard Bell back to receive and he will make a move from the goal line. Bell to the 15. Bell in space doing a little hopscotch to the outside, pointing out blocks. Up the sideline, Bell still tight roping inside the 30 yard line. Great read that time to set up third down. Ward, short set down the middle, and it is reeled in by Ollie, and he's going to be just short of the line to gain, and another decision for Dickert. A game of Inches is that barely escapes the fingertips of the linebacker John Meta and what tremendous concentration from Ollie to haul it in. And this field goal is up and it is good. He got it through. Could have been seven for Washington State. They settle for three. Wisconsin 14 10. Jenkins again, who had an early fumble last week. They went back to him because they love his upside, and there he scrambles for 13 well, and a first see it. down. And you see it, right? I mean, he's got a different gear than anybody else. They said he may be the most explosive of any of our backs with the ball in his hand, and he is busting the angles of those Badger tacklers with his quickness. On third down, Ward. Pressure coming, he got hit. Picked off by Jay Shaw. Now the ball comes loose. Herbig dives after it. Did Washington State get back on it? Victor punched it away, and there's a big fight for it near midfield. I can't tell you how good this is on a few levels. I told you maybe third and ten would be too big, and it was as Latu puts the lick on. The interception here from Shaw, but look at number five, Victor, come back into the play. He's out of bounds, and he comes in and unloads. Maybe as hard a hit as we've seen anybody on this field today. He unloads on Jay Shaw. Change of possession. Cougars get it back. Fourth and one run. They've got it with Jenkins, the freshman, and a first down. The Badgers on second down. Four-man rush again. Herbig got yanked back. Ward flips it out wide. He's got Watson off the spin. The former Badger is in. Touchdown. Latu had him and couldn't tackle him. We saw this earlier in the open field. One of the first possessions of the game, just a one-on-one -on -one tackle. You're right, maybe Herbig gets grabbed right there, but Ward's got the poise to extend the play. And then the ultimate team game does so many times come down to those man-on-man -man battles. They'll run it again. He changes direction again, and he's swung down after a short gain by Armani Marsh. First down and 20. And it's batted away. Sam Lockett the third. Great read to jump in front. That he is man-to-man. -man. Right, you say, how oh, let's play zone coverage. We got him backed up. Nope. What we do best is this. Play aggressive man-to-man -man coverage. When they've been beaten clean, taken advantage of, it's been a whole lot more in zone coverage than playing to their strength, that man-to-man -man defense. Third and three first. It's a toss. Malusi behind Nelson. He got a hit. And Henley finished him off. Jordan Lee got in there to slow his progress for Wisconsin. Jet sweep again. Third time they've gone to it, and Bell gets ripped down. Mauingoa, the middle linebacker, read it perfectly. And this time, look at 51. Mauingoa come right down the line. There's not many teams that have this kind of speed at the second level. Second down and seven. 
out on the tailback again nowhere to go and finally he goes down you have to wait for his knee to hit the deck because he's always live. Allen run down from behind by Malangoa. I don't think I've ever seen this in a game. Two, Two interceptions that led to fumbles on the same play. Correct. Allen split out wide. They go empty. Mertz down the middle. Got it to Cundiff. Balls out again. Washington State is on it. Sam Lockett. Roth punched it out, and Lockett jumped on it. Effort, effort, effort. It is what these Cougs have given. It is what, frankly, they did a season ago for their head man. When he got thrust into the head job, Jake Dickert, you just saw that team build and play and play hard no matter what the adversity and man do they employ a ton of different players in their personnel but they're all doing the same thing and forcing that look from these fans of my gosh what is going on ward up to the line third and two it's a low snap he's gonna run for it and he does have the first down instinct for a ward moves the sticks Watson on the run, first down, Washington State, gain of 11. On fourth down, Ward running and roaming. He's going to launch it. Ward down the sideline. Jake Dickert and Washington State come to their coach's home state. He said... At some point, it'll be a dream come true to be on this field. How about right now at zeros with an upset win this September Saturday? And how about Cam Ward? Made the move to the Palouse for moments like this. The game was not too big for him. He got better as the moment got brighter. An excellent play, executing it perfectly with six seconds to go. And that is a that's a program changer. That is a player definer, and that is a head coach whose team played their tails off for him today. Well, Candace, Riley, Jet, and Jace, and the entire Dickert family. I love football. And I love college football, man. <laughs> wow.